everyone from Tokyo. My second time here. We are currently in the Asakusa area. That's where we've got our hotel booked for two nights. We're going to be exploring Tokyo today, going to the fish market, Akibara and uh, Shibuya poss possibly this evening. So yeah, let's go and explore. This is Tokyo's fish market. I've never been here before. So it's my second time in Japan, but this is an area that I've never actually visited or explored before.
Again, we are in Asakusa. Uh, All right. Uh, Hello. Do you want to try any shop? Ah, uh, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Um, today we're going to Tokyo Station. Hopefully, we will be catching the Shinkansen train. Uh, all the way to Yokohama because this is our last day so yeah we just wanted a day day trip and then we're gonna head off to the hotel near the airport tonight here we go this is the Ginza line to Tokyo Station, probably have to change once. So that down there is Tokyo Station, where you can catch the Shinkansen.
here we are and Yokohama Very very modern city So I'm gonna be going at the ramen museum now Ramen Museum is widely known as Japan's first hand. Kanichi Tsaki had worked for a custom house in Yokohama before starting in Rai Raiken. The founder hired 13 Chinese cooks from Nan Kinmachi. Yokohama in Open Irish in the 1910. And this is the first ramen shop. Now we're at the end. This was alchemy sauce.
So you've got all little ramen shops here, all around, where you can just order whatever you want and sit inside. Just go down. So everyone is queuing up here for a ramen. So this is the selection <coughs> that you've got here. The ramens obviously they're a bit more pricey than the normal local shops. But hey, you pay for the experience. This is how they used to sell ramen in the old days.